Hi guys, binary options trading again and again, and we are here. And this strategy is quite modified strategy that I showed before. And I'm just, um, I'm just willing, you know, to give you some info, how you can actually adjust some strategy that I'm given. And I know a lot of, um, I don't know, traders, they prefer actually two or three indicators. And sometimes I'm given more as sometimes, you know, some questions like, why do you need that? Uh, it's gonna be easier without any you know this additional indicator that is too much stuff you know too much knowledge I don't know but I quite like it when it looks you know all heavy and uh, just want to show you that if you are smartly for example reduce some of the indicators it still can work so let's see how I made it for you today and how it's gonna be with the market let's go so I'm continuing for today and now I'm going to show you like this same strategy but with the previous one and if I'm going to upload it like the previous one and but just without the Bollinger Bands actually and um, the first was the Stochastic Oscillator I'm changing all periods and saving it just to be more, more, and uh, the second one, if you remember, is not gonna be the exact parabolic. Sorry, it's gonna be the CCI, the perfect combination, uh, the stochastic oscillator, because all these indicators just match each other. This is, you know, all time favorites combination, but uh, for some. For some traders, it's more and more, it's more and more, it's better when you have something. So I was just like reading a lot and checking what we are having, if I was everything done and correctly right about the periods and stuff, because periods actually matters. You can find a lot of info about the periods in Google or on some platforms like that. I don't want to be, you know, uh, talk a lot of stuff about that just repeating it because you can find it yourself, you better see how it's working in the real life. So, we go. And um, just make it a little bit easier. And actually, I must say that it's gonna be more logically, uh, theoretically, I don't know, approved if I love just the Bollinger Band, CCI, Stochastic Oscillator, not the ADX, but I'm not here to make some obvious decisions. I'm here just to show you that you actually can remove one of the indicators. And in that case, that was the key indicator also. But anyway, it was quite simple and I've used that two last time. So I decided to remove the Bollinger Bands and love the ADX. And again and again, CCI Stochastic Oscillator showing us that we are getting down, ADX lines just started to go wider. That means that the tendency, it actually a little bit the same with the Bollinger Bands, uh, tendency just continuing. And we made our bet, we made it for a downward movement, and we are actually expecting that it's gonna be more than correct. I could make more bets at uh, these time frames, but this is all that I'm having in my account and I'm all the time starting with a small sums just to show you that it's actually working for all of you, you don't need to have, I don't know, a thousand or something like that because, and it's done as a bit of profit because some of you texted me, comment me, because when you have money, you can risk, you know, that you can actually start again and again, try again and again, not like that. And I'm getting full bank with this zero sum on the account. And it's not about the money, it's about the strategy. So let's proceed next. So again, quite obvious situation with these indicators and even without the Bollinger Bands, this is so easy, nice, clear, I don't know, best strategy ever. Again, two indicators looking downward, ADX showing us that we are getting wider and not closing, not crossing, because if you remember the last videos that, and this is the green candle, but uh, I told you, if the ADX just started to cross each other, you know, these lines of ADX, it means the changing of the trend. And with the situations, you may see ADX and the chart before this bad, it was the high volatility and ADX was all three lines was so, so close to each other. I would not enter the market at that point if you are not experienced enough. And if you see the ADX just, you know, to be tight and all the lights just tighten, 
please do not enter. This is not the best time to, I don't know, to check your capability of in trading. So we actually seen that again and again, we were correct, that it actually CTI started to show a little bit changing of direction, but we were just right in time. There was the huge orange candle and we entered just at the end of this tendency and CCI started showing us that this is a little bad, a little bad upward movement. And here, if with the last bet I told you about the ADX and you know to be all three lines tightened, you can check this ADX. It looks like crazy. It is so ugly. But so the last candles that we are seeing is actually green. And CCI a little bit like growing, but with the stochastic accelerator, we may see this these two lines started just to cross each other. And the stochastic accelerator is quite important indicator. We cannot ignore it. And we are expecting that it's going to be the changing of the trend because these stochastic accelerator lines, when they cross in each other, you know, and at the point, it means the changes of the trend. And you may see the CCI also, you know, like at the peak. And the ADX actually showing us that this is like, you know, quite high channel and a wide one. And that it's going to be the tendency. It is continuing, but CCI in the stochastic accelerator first and then ADX. So let's check how it's going to be for us. And it seems like it was quite correct. And this strategy in that case worked just for the prediction. And it worked just perfectly fine for that. I could make even more but I don't have any money to make more bets. So 2000 we have on our account already with this strategy, quite simple, quite nice for different, different situations. And actually, yep, here we just, I made it more and more bets because we were just the beginning of the tendency. I, I was just, you know, looking for opportunity to leave this chart and make a new bet, but decided, you know, sometimes your your nature is more than you. So let's see how it's going to be here. And I think it's going to be all fine. So the green candle here, but let's check the situations. Yep, stochastic accelerator lines, again, just crossed. CCI showing us that we are getting downward and you may see two or three bats here. We're just correct, but it was just spontaneous decision and we can forgive what, what I've done about that. But anyway, it quite nice result. It's already 4,000 instead of three. So quite a good result in the end. So after that just spontaneous decision and spontaneous buzz that I had, let's just return to something that is more, more reliable for us. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. So here again and again, stochastic accelerator lines just crossed. CCI started showing that we are getting upward and I made it with the full bank. We are getting upward and it seems quite quite safe here, but we are, we are not so sure till the end. Let's check. So we are here, sorry, got something on a leap. Uh, and this is perfect and perfect. And I'm glad, no, <laughs> that was so perfect. Have you seen that? It was just, you know, in the moment, but it's all three of them are profitable. It was four. It was so, so perfect on the green candle, so much above the estimated level, and then just this orange candle. And can you see what happened to the ADX? Nothing actually, nothing actually showed us that it's going to be changing because, you know, this white ADX showing us that the tendency is going to be continuing, but it just happened. Market is a market. Nothing you can do about that. This is market and it plays you unless you play it. So let's make it the last bet, not to give you too much situations because most of them quite same. I'm getting full bank again and again, and I am just predicting this is the beginning of the tendency and the chart was 
bowing. Then the stochastic accelerator lines just crossed each other. Then CCI also showing us that we are getting downward. ADX, you know, it's tricky, but it's still showing that we are gonna get without any changes. So we are expecting this is a massive downward, it's a massive fall. <laughs> So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bets. And I am already afraid actually to tell you how perfect it's that because a little bit and you can see with the ADX here, actually a lot of things changing, but this was perfect. This is the perfect end. Seven profits and ended with the 14th thousand just in my bank account. And I can officially tell the strategy working, but because really really a tons of ideas and that's why uh, if you only live in like Bollinger Bands, Stochastic Accelerator or CCI quite same you know indicators it's not gonna be the full picture of what's going on ADX give you the info about some I don't know some like I don't know I don't know, unexpected changes or something like that so it's better to leave ADX than the Bollinger Bands just in my humble opinion that's it so it's done what it's done. It was pretty tense at some moments, but I actually like that. It's not that perfect because of the market mostly, not because of the strategy, but anyway, ADX, don't hate that, love that, use that. This is quite a complicated indicator because sometimes you look at that and you just, what does it mean? But in some cases, especially on these long, you know, candle periods, it actually perfectly working for you. So if there is something unclear, if you have some comments, I don't know, maybe I don't know something or anything, you can text me, you know, that I'm open for any feedback that you are giving and providing. Please text me and let's stay together and stay tuned. Thank you.